श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताकेसरी वेदाताचार्य वर्यो मे सन्निधत्ता सदागृति सतस्ंग पृथ्वीश चरणत्राणशेखरा जयंती भवन प्राण पदभंगजने वह बिफोर गोइंग टू श्री पादुका सहस्रम वर्सेस लेट मी टेल यू सम बायोग्राफिकल फैक्ट्स ऑफ द ग्रेट ऑथर कवितार्किक सिंह वेदांताचार्य सर्वतंत्र स्वतंत्र एज बीइंग द अवार्ड्स that came to him he did not go in search of such a award so he he has written a book call hamsa sandesha it's a pure imagination in sanskrit there are three types of works that can be written by poets either they can take the plot rather the story they can use the source like puranas scriptures vedas itihasas the epics ramayana and mahabharata and the second category will be they can imagine something new which is not available in any of the ancient books and thirdly they can mix both they can take the old source and also add to their imagination hamsa sandesha is a pure imagination if you have heard about your prose work in sanskrit called kadambari it's a pure imagination kadambari was written by a great prose poet namely banabhatta and he has a credit to two words where generally it is just one book written by almost many poets in sanskrit we have a proverb gadyam kavinam nikasham vadanti writing a prose work is very difficult and if at all we want to test the quality of a poet we will ask the poet to write a prose book in sanskrit and then text test him just like we test the purity of the gold by the stone touch stone so nikasham so the in the banks they use the test for the quality of assessing the quality of the gold so hamsa sandesha is an imagination where vedanta deshika wrote a what you call a message book a message poetry specially called sandesh kavyani in sanskrit so vedanta deshika's hamsa sandesha is an imagination that rama sends a swan to sita of course it is not available in any of the ancient books and uh, he has written about 140 verses in mandakranta meter in the whole of hamsa sandesha and he felt that kalidas as the greatest poet in sanskrit he is his model and therefore so in verbatim he has used his words in one or two verses Uh, that is about the greatness of hamsa sandesha and therefore we understand the greatness of the poet kalidas also kalidas has make a sandesha verses have been taken into hamsa sandesha by from vedanta deshika now uh, with this small introduction uh, we will go to the next uh, uh, so the verse i think we have to start with uh, 12 or 13 so 12 we have i mean 12 we have to start so 
मिथ प्रेक्षा लाभ क्षण परिणम पंचश पदा मधुक्ति महित कवि संभ विषय न कस्येम हास्या हरिचरण धात्री क्षिति तले मुहुर्वाध्याधूते मुख पवन विस्फोजित now so this is the 12th verse in the prastava paddhati so in the prastava paddhati he deals with various topics within the 20 verses the first 20 verses of paduka shastra so in the beginning on the first verse namely santashri ranga prithvisha you would have seen that the people who are fortunate will <coughs> adorn their head with the Paduka or Shatari in the Sanctum Sanctorum and then help other devotees also to wear it on the head. And they will in turn become the protectors of the world that is doing, doing <coughs> good to the world. Now here, the humility and mo our modesty of Vedanta Deshika is seen here. Now, Vedanta Deshika had the luck to live in Sri Rangam and <coughs> he had the fortune of having Seva, Darshan at the Sannidhi of Sri Ranganatha. And even when he has a limited time to have darshan or seva at the sanctum sanctorum, he says, Mita, it was limited. Preksha. So, it looks like your Wi Fi name or password has changed. To update your Wi Fi information, go to the Alexa app. My, my view, that is, my looking at my darshan seva at the divine feet and the divine sandals was preksha, preksha. It and looks like your Wi-Fi name or password has changed. Just to update your Wi-Fi information, go to the Alexa app. So, so it was a profit for him to worship at the um, Sanctum Sanctorum. So he had the good view of the divine feet and the divine sandals of Namperumal, as he is called in the idol of the festival, Utsava Vigraha. And then it was just for a moment. And therefore he said, so within a moment, he had some spiritual knowledge. So the spiritual knowledge that he obtained by viewing, by having a seva at the divine sandals, it transformed into the words of Padrita And with his humility, he says, he just spoke only five to six words. Pancha, five. Shate, panchasha, pada. So if you say that even the five or six words uh, amount to 1,008 verses of Pavlika Sarsam, what will be the 1,000 words from his uh, lotus mouth? So Parinamati, it was a transformation. It was an outcome. It was a result, good result, out of having a little knowledge by looking at the divine sandals. Mita prekshala bhakshana parinamat panchashapada. So his work, namely mad uktihi, mama uktihi, that is my work book called Swadhika Sasram. Uh, what is the subject? Tvayi. On you. Mad uktis tvayi. So where is the work? This is the work. Yesha. So this is Swadhika Sasram, which I composed on you. But generally, what do the great poets would do? The great poets will have tension in composing a very great subject. You are a great subject. 
four sandals, divine sandals. So I have done some praise by 1008 verses called the Pausukasa Yasram on the matter which is always an attraction to great poets. Mahita Kavi Samram Bhavishaye. Mahita, great Kavi poet, Samrambha, they are eager to write a poem on such a great matter. Vishaye, Vishaya, the content of the Sagasram is on Paduka. Now he gives an analogy, he still shows his humility further. So he thinks that uh, if he is not capable of composing 1008 verses on Paduka, he feels uh, that he is not fortunate. So he called the sandal Hari Charana Dhatri in the third quarter, Pada. He calls Hari Charana Dhatri. Paduka is taking care of this divine feet of Lord Hari. Hari Charana Dhatri. When we say the word Hari, he takes away our sins, he steals our sins without our knowledge. He is called Hari. So Hari Charana Dhatri, so Ranganatha's feet are protected by the sandals. So he is addressing. So I told him many times that Vedanta Deshika talks to the sandals. So he is asking, Na kasya iyam hasya. My action of composing 1008 verses on Paduka will it not be a fun whether people, other people will not make fun of me. Hasya, will, will they not laugh at me? Will I not become a laughing stock in the presence of many people? Nakasyayam hasya. So why? So why do you feel so? Always there is a conversation between, dialogue between divine sandals and Vedanta Deshika as we can imagine. Because if you have read the Tirupavai in Tamil of Goda Devi, Andar, you would have seen a lot of conversations, dialogues between the opponent and Andar, Goda Devi, or the inner meaning of this Tirupavai called the Sri Prabandhaha in Sanskrit. So he is asked, uh, here also there is a dialogue. Paduka is asking, the divine sandals of Ranganatha are asking Vedanta Deshika. How did it be a fun? How, did, how would your Pathaka session be a fun? So, Chiti Tale, in this world, in this earth, Chiti Tale, Muhuhu again. So, what am I doing? There are big trees, very big trees. There are very big mountains in the world. A storm, a hurricane, a tornado will try to move them, move the mountains, will try to hit the mountains. The trees will be uprooted. A very big tree will be uprooted by a very heavy storm. But suppose I stand there to, to imitate a storm by blowing air from my mouth. So what will the people do? The people will laugh at me. Vatya dhute, vatya, vati, vati is a heavy storm. So when it is shaken by a heavy storm, anything, a big tree or a mountain, mukha pavana as though I am blowing air from my mouth, pavana air, mukha mouth, as though I am blowing out. So Eva is just like. So will I not be a, an object of ridicule if I blow air from my mouth in order to move a tree or a mountain? In the same way, I am doing now, I am trying to compose the Padraga Sasram. Will, will it be an object of fun? So that is, the answer is no by Paduka. The sandals say, no, it will not be a, uh, an object of fun. So, 
if you want to go through the uh, verse again mita prekshala bhagana parinamat pancha shapada madukti stvaye shamahita kavi sambram bhavishaye takasyayam hasya haricharana dhatri chiti dale mukurvatyadhute mukhapavana vishthurjitam so we go to 13 now here here from the 13th verse onwards so he has become bold enough to gain confidence in composing pasgasas uh, in between of course we can always see the humility of vedanta deshika he was so modest in his time that many people became jealous disturbed him a lot so i'll tell you one incident before going to 13 so many people envied his scholarship and then without uh, being able to win over in any debate along with him they did a very bad action what was the bad action they strung together all the chapels because he was praising the sandal divine sandals of rangnatha they took uh, used uh chapels used the sandals by people and then they make made it a garland and they hung it on the threshold of the entrance of his house in siranga uh, they had a, the sandal garland serupu malai kalani malai so they hung it on the entrance door you know in those days the uh, entrance will be low in position and if, if at all you want to enter a house ancient house you have to bend your head so low and then only enter and therefore when vedanta ji got tried to enter his own home the garland the sandal garland touched his head that is old dilapidated dirty garland touched he said and there were uh, immediately two lines of poetry came out of his mouth so he said he made it into a philosophical uh, shloka so he said karma avalambaka ha kechit some people go on the path of action you would have heard about bhagavad gita advocating the first action namely discipline namely karma yoga So, karma, karma, valamba ka ha kechit. The next yoga mentioned in Bhagavad Gita is Jnana Yoga, in the second six chapters of Bhagavad Gita. You would have known it earlier. Therefore, he said, as the second quarter, kechit Jnana valamba ka ha. Some people resort to the path of wisdom in order to understand the Almighty. ಕರ್ಮಾವಲಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕಾಂಬಕ
undoubtedly nisandeha nija apakarsha so the attraction is more on on its own namely vishaya the matter matter is paduka the sandals utkarsha the quality is high high quality is called utkarsha though the the subject matter of sandals divine sandals of ranganatha of shirangam i have got lot of attraction without any doubt so what is should what should be the qualification of a poet in order to compose a, a poem on a long poem a great poem on sandals harshodaya one will be happy to do it your mind should become curious you should be happy harshodaya pratyudha it will be the poet will be involved there so slowly krama gradually bhakti by devotion vaibhava the the pomp and glory of the sandals so he he says he talks to the sandal bhavat vayatya vachalitah i have been made vociferous i have been made eloquent i have been made an orator i have been made a good poet by you bhavat vayatya because of your blessing because of your encouragement there is a very big uh, compound word you see here harshodaya pratyuda krama bhakti vaibhava bhavatvaya tyavachalita was i have been made a good poet because of your blessing by the glory that came out of devotion and i became joyful i became very curious to compose a poem on you so who are you rangadhi shapatatra you are the sandals tra or who protects other the foot the divine feet of rangadhi of srinanganatha of srinanga so i have started writing krita arambhai so i have composed many words i have thought of many words nigumbhai hi nigumbhai hi lot of words a cluster of words have been formed in my mind giram gi hi is word no so giram of the words nigumbhai hi clusters of with the clusters of words made a good beginning kritaram bhai hi well begun you say well begun and even when people who try to make fun of me uh, mock at me narma swadishu narma swadishu they may smile at my effort to compose thousand eight and they may enjoy some jokes in between they may see some funny remarks in my paduka sastram narma swadishu they may enjoy me fun also they may be positive or negative let me not worry about it so he doesn't mention his uh, uh, that that i do it i do it he can use the name venkateshwara kavi hi fortunately i have been awarded the uh, title kavitarki ka simha and therefore i am confident now so venkateshwara kavi i am called venkata now i am ishwara kavi i am a lord i am poet so nasi ramasi dati so it is by your encouragement i have become courageous venkateshwara the poet has become courageous so this is uh, the beautiful meaning of the 13th so let's go to uh, the 14 plus this is a very beautiful um, episode anecdote rather what we call allusion attached to this 14 plus rangakshma pati ratna padu bhavatim tushtu shato me javajram bhantam bhavadi yasinjita sudha sandoha sandeha daha slaagha gurnita 
चंद्रशेखर जटा जंगाल गंगा पय स्त्रादेश विशृंखल प्रसरणोत्सिता स्वयं सूक्त प्लीज नोट वेदांत देशिका हैविंग सेट अबाउट द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट मैटर नेमली द डिवाइन सैंडल ऑफ श्री रंगनाथ and expressing his own modesty humility and his weakness his disinterestedness and so on as we what we call in sri vishnu sampradaya naichya anusandhan so loyaling one's own status so that you don't feel proud of yourself you are not haughty so vedanta dejika was not haughty was not proud he did not put on airs but now he is now praying to the divine son so after expressing so many ideas here in the 14th verse here he is he is plunging into composing the poem padruka shastram and he needs he requests for blessing from the son <coughs> so he is <coughs> sorry addressing the sandals rangakshma pati ratna padu o sandals o divine sandals o divine sandals with the gems with the gems Im- embedded inlaid so o gemmed slippers so pati the master of the master shma the earth ranga shri rangam so ranganatha gemmed o sandals o sandals of gemmed sandals of ranganatha bhavati you please remember padruka is a strilling shabda feminine gender word so i want to praise you tushtu shato me when i am praising you tushtu shataha is praise so i mean i want to make you happy so what should you do oh divine sandals you must give me <coughs> a speedy uh, composition javat javaha is vega so speed so you must give me fast your blessing so what should i do so my words last word look at the word last last word suktayaha my word must be good words holy words so words of praise suktayaha what should they do jirumbhantam they must come to the fore very fast they must appear in my mind very quickly jrambantam they must be flooding my thoughts good words about you should be coming in legion to my mind jrambantam they must come like waves of devotion going up and up so now so what will be the nature of the words भवदीयसिंजित सुधा संदोख संदेख दाहा इट शुड गिव अस एन इंप्रेशन समटाइम्स इव अ फॉल्स इंप्रेशन आल्सो दैट द द वर्ड्स दैट आई कंपोज इन पादुका शास्त्रम विल बी हैविंग अ साउंड नो द वर्ड्स ऑलवेज शब्द वी कॉल इट शब्द एज अ वर्ड इट हैज अ साउंड a sound and meaning also so vaak plus artha so now in this uh, sound should be like the anklet on the divine feet of ranganatha which you protect bhavadi and you can also say that the divine sandals also have a jingling sound a pleasant sound that we hear while sri ranganatha is walking on the streets of sri ranga so bhavadi your sinjita the jingling sound that is it is sweet sound and it also looks very sweet because sudha sandoh it looks like a heap of amritam nectar liquid ambrosia sandeha dah it should give an impression that your jingling sound is as sweet as the divine nectar and when this sound is being heard by the grandson namely lord shiva 
what does he do he just nods his head in approval he enjoys he relishes the sound, sweet sound of the sandals because lord shiva brahma indra all other tattvitri crores of gods come daily to sirangam to worship and therefore so what what does he do lord shiva is nodding his head in approval that yes it is sweet like divine nectar shlaagha he praises chandrashekhar is praises lord shiva is praises he has got the moon on and as his ornament on his head and he has got matted locks locks jata matted locks jata so his head is moving and he is also a little disturbed by the ganges water that uh, remained in his locks matted locks out of anger as you know the uh, the do ganges forcibly came to the head of lord shiva the lord shiva contained it controlled it in his matted locks you know the story behind so once upon a time there was a king called sagara sagara had 60000 sons the one son was called asamanja and uh, he was long living person whereas the 60000 uh, uh, children died out of the curse of a sage called kapila an incarnation of lord shiva narayana and then in order to wash the burnt ashes of his forefathers ancestors the later kings tried asamanja's son amshuman tried amshuman son dilipa tried dilipa's son bagiratha tried so bagiratha effort we say herculean effort is called himalayan efforts are called bagiratha effort. so by bagiratha efforts uh, ganges came to the earth so before com- coming to the earth it, uh, ganges was angry and he, he, she did not want to come to the earth and therefore um, he requested shiva to bear the uh, force of the flood and shiva held it in his matted lock held held the river in matted lock now my my words by your blessing o oh, divine sandals look should be having a fast flow the jangala ganga payaha payaha the water ganga of the ganges so from the matted lock lakhs lakhs of lord shiva so it now there is no fear for ganga nor uh, there is no fear of earth being destroyed by the force of ganges trasa aadesha trasa is threatening so there is no place for trasa trasa adesha trasa adesha vishrankhala now it has no uh, impediment the ganges river had no impediment it fell on earth so in that way my words swayam by themselves last but one word swayam suktaha by themselves but because of your blessings should flow very heavily fast prasarano siktaha it should be spread over this 1008 verses of padukasas it's a very uh, long verse with what we call shardola uh, vikritam vrtam the meter uh, some people are interested in uh, knowing the meter of the verses so uh, soon after we uh, finish this prastava paddhati we will take up the names of meters which he employed because there is a particular verse which uh, comes little later in this uh, uh, first chapter prastava paddhati by which we can understand that vedanta deshika has employed many 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 meters in his uh, padaka sasram even in the first chapter he has used a variety of meters so uh, we will go to the next one himavannala setu madhya bhajam bharata bhyachita padukavatam saha atapodhana dharmatak kavinam 
Akhileshvasmi Manorathesvabhakya. Now, as we say in uh, uh, English or Tamil, that from Kanyakumari to Himalayas. So, they say in this way, he says, Himavan from the Himalayas, Nalasetu till Danushkoti, where from a dam was built, Setu was built by the monkeys in order to go to Sri Lanka during the incarnation of Lord Shiman Narayana as Rama. So, Himavan Nalasetu Madhya Bhajan. We are all the people living in the middle of or middle between the Himalayas and the Nala Setu. Nala was one of the monkeys who helped build a dam, namely Setu, across the ocean to reach Sri Lanka. So Nala, therefore, is called Nala Setu. And Himavan Nala Setu Madhya Bhajam. So in, in between, Ayodhya city is there and therefore Paduk, Bharata Abhyachita Paduka. Once upon a time in the Ramayana story, we find that so Bharata for 14 years adored divine sandals. He worshipped divine sandals, make, placing them on the throne of the capital Ayodhya, of the Kosala kingdom. So now I am adorning my head because I, I went to the Sanctum Sanctorum, Sannidhi of Sri Ranganatha, of Sri Rangam. So the Bhattacharya, the priest, uh, placed the Paduka on my head. So Bharata Bhyachita Paduka Vatam Saha. In 14, he prayed to the sandals that uh, he must be eloquent in his words. His words must be good and the words must flow like Ganges River, very fast. And I must finish it within a few hours instead of uh, waiting till the morning. It was just in the competitive spirit. That, and of course, uh, by the blessings of the Xanders. So I am, I am now, he is referring to my, himself. Bharata Bhyachita Paduka Vatam Saha. So I have been adorned by the sandals. By, by name, as you know, Shatari, I repeat. So Bharata Bhyachita, which was worshipped long ago, for 14 years. Especially, of course, afterwards also the divine sandals of Rama were worshipped by all people there. But special worship was done by Bharata. Bharata was so humble, he did not want to become king as per the wish of his mother Kaikeyi. And uh, he, was, he was considered as what we call a Bhagavata, a devotee of the Lord, uh, and therefore. Bharata is adored. That's why Bharata has been saluted by Vedanta Deshika in the second, in the very second verse of this Prastava Pantas. So he says, it's very easy for me to compose the poem because though I am not following the life of sages. Tapodhana dharmataha. Tapodhana. There are very great people doing a lot of penance in order to achieve the skill of poesy, how to write poems. They acquired the skill after long effort, making penance for many, many years. But I didn't uh, do any penance. Atapodhana. I'm not a sage. I'm not a sage like Valmiki. I'm not a um, sage like uh, Vyasa. But, but very easily I did it. So, Atapodhana Dharmata Kavinam, Kavinam among the poets. So, I am I'm lucky enough that I have not done any penance, but I've got the skill. Akhileshu Manorathesu. What did the sages feel? The, yes, the sages have had the aim of becoming a good poet by a lot of penance. They had a lot of desire to describe the, any, any, any matter related to Lord Shiman Narayana. So, Akhileshu Manurathesu, in all their desires. So, many, many poets performed penance and tried 
to become good poets by their desires, by their ambitions, in all their ambitions. Now, what am I? I am Abhahya. Now, I am one of them now. Though I did not perform penance, though I did not follow any austerity, though I did not do any meditation, because of the blessings of the divine sandals of Sri Ranganatha, I have become one of the great poets, Abhahya. Bhakyaha, I'm not out of the context. Abhakyaha, I'm now inside where my desire, my ambition to compose the poem, namely Padruka Sasram with 1008 verses, is out of a little effort without doing penance. That is because, again, the benign grace of the divine sandals of Ranganatha. Among the people, who live in the country between two uh, places, namely Himalayas and the dam built by Nara. So this was the uh, 14, 15th verse. And uh, we will go to 16. So my plan of uh, uh, making at least uh, three verses a day, I mean, explain three verses a day, um, maybe fulfilled by the grace of the sandals, divine sandals. Now, uh, please note uh, that in the previous, one of the previous verses in the Prastava Paddhati, Vedanta Deshika said, Vijnapayami Pratipanna Bhitihi. You can refer to the verse. Vijnapayami Pratipanna Bhitihi. Prage Varangapati Vibrama Paduke Tvam. Vyantum chama satasati vigada bhyasuya santas prushantu sadayehi kridayehi stutim te. So, this was the, one of the verses, previous verses in this Prasava Pandit. There he said, Vignapayami pratipanna bhitihi. So, with a lot of fear, I am trying to submit a poem of 1008 verses. So, Vijnapayami, I am sub submitting to the sandals, divine sandals. Vijnapayami pratipanna bhitihi prage varangapati vibhrama paduke tvam When the divine sandals carry the divine feet of the Lord, Ranganatha, <coughs> in his uh, movements in Srirangam town as well as in other villages, if we uh, submit our request for coming to our home, he will come. And therefore, he is called Namperumal, as you understand in Sri Lanka. So, he said, in that particular verse, you find that it is Vigatabhya Suyaha Santaha Sprushantu Sadayair Vidayaistu Timte so, let my work be read, but I mean, with, with, without jealousy, by good people, santaha. The first word that he mentions in the first verse of this Prastava Paddhati, also he ends the Padrugar Sasana with the word santaha. I want only good people. The good people should never be, feel jealous over my achievement, namely 1008 verses on a if, you know, within a few hours of a night. And therefore, they must read my work and then understand this greatness, appreciate without envying me. So that's what he said. So uh, he, he said, I was afraid. I am afraid. But now he says, I am not afraid. So look at the word. So in the second half, Gatabhitihi. My fear is gone. But how is this? Ranga Dhurina Paduke. He addresses the divine sandals. Oh, Ranga Dhurina Paduke. The divine sandals, which are capable of protecting the divine feet of the expert God in Sri Ranga. Ranga Dhurina Paduke. So very careful in protecting the divine feet of Sri Ranganatha. Oh, divine sandals. So, how are you? 
तो अनिदम प्रथम से शब्द राशे है अपदम नर टू शेड मीनिंग हि तो शब्द राशि हर्ड अबाउट शब्द राशि राशि मीन्स हिप शब्द इज वर्ड शब्द मीन्स ग्रामर इन संस्कृत शब्द मीन डिक्लेनशन आई वुड हैव हर्ड अबाउट राम 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 दिस कॉल शब्द वी कॉल इट डिक्लेनशन शब्द मीन्स ग्रामर शब्द मीन्स साउंड एज यू नो शब्द इज नॉइस बट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस शब्द इज स्क्रिप्चर तो शब्द राशे इन द स्क्रिप्चरल वर्ड्स तो बियॉन्ड द स्क्रिप्चरल वर्ड्स तो पंचमी में बैठे आपादम तो कैन वी डिस्क्राइब द डिवाइन सैंडल्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्क्रिप्चरल वर्ड्स नो व्हाई द स्क्रिप्चर्स आर और इटसेल्फ सेज ये तो अवा जो निवर्तन्ते अप्रा अप्यमनसा सह they tell us the inability to describe the greatness of the lord shiman narayana even by mind instead of even putting the words in black and white yet oba cho nivartante words retreat the words go back they draw themselves behind that you know, we scriptures are not able to describe fully the greatness of the lord we are not able to reach the pinnacle of greatness we do not know the limit of greatness so shabda rashe he apadam so how is the scripture anidam prathamasya there is nothing before scriptures scriptures are the first words to for us to get तो इदम प्रथम से इज नॉट सो अनिदम प्रथम से सो वी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड इजीली द द वर्ड्स ऑफ स्क्रिप्चर्स एंड द इदम प्रथम से शब्द राशे है दो द स्क्रिप्चरल वर्ड्स आर द फर्स्ट वर्ड्स दे आर नॉट एबल टू डिस्क्राइब फुली द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द सैंड डिवाइन सैंडल्स ऑफ रंगनाथ एंड बट स्टिल आई एम विदाउट फियर नो गतभीति ही Gata bhi iti hi. I am. I am without fear now. Now what am I doing? In the previous verse, fifteen, uh, you saw tushtu shato me jawat in the first part, first quarter. So in the same way, he is saying abhishtu van. I am praising. I am adoring. So I am adoring all divine sandals. You, ani dam prathamasya sabda rashe ra padam ranga duri na patu ke tuam. Get a bit of a bit to one. Then the divine sandals converse with the Vedanta Deshika, the author. Then why do you do? Why do you want to praise me? Me mohat because of my uh, great attraction that I have for you. You have a fascination for me. I love you. I am devoted to you, and therefore I am uh, composing the poem. i am adoring you i am writing a poem on vimohat by the extreme attraction moha doesn't mean confusion here so uh, so attraction so parihasen hai now there may be some people who will find fun in this book for the gospels so let them enjoy let them be amused let them uh, get entertained by my words parihasen so i am also making a little fun of the paduka with my liberty so vinodayami natham sri ranganatha loves the expansive divine sandals and because it, the, the divine sandals protect the divine feet from any harm any injury so uh, you know that the the walking the uh, traveling will make the feet tired and therefore so such uh, negative aspect do not happen by the help of the divine sandals so
So I am trying to adore the Lord Ranganatha. Natham. So hey Paduke. So Paduka is asking, are you praising me by thousand eight uh, verses in Paduka Sasram or are you praising Ranganatha? He says, he says now, I am praising Ranganatha. I am also praising him. So I am trying to make him happy. Vinodayami. Vinodayami. I am trying to make him happy. I am trying to amuse him. I am trying to make him smile. I am trying to make him laugh at my uh, poem. Because I am too much attracted by the divine sandals. Not out of the just uh, competitive spirit, I want to win over an award prize from the opponent. I did it. I did it because of your blessing. Because you are not being described by any scriptures fully. Very difficult for even scriptural words, which is what you call a repository of the entire dictionary in Sanskrit. They are not able to find words to complete the description of the greatness of the divine sanctions. Anidam prasamasya shabda rashe rapadam Sangyadhuri napaduke twam Gatabhi dirabittu van vimohat Parihasena vinodaya minatham Let me recite the last verse of Paduga Sahasram and uh, give you <coughs> the time to <coughs> question us, clarification, supplement, add to the points, your own ideas and uh, doubts also. Jayati Tiraja Sukti. I remind all of us that Vedanta Deshika had a great regard, respect for Ramanuja Acharya, called Yetiraja. Called Udayavar in Sanskrit, I mean Tamil, Embermana in Tamil, Tirupavajiyar in Tamil, and so on. Uh, he, he was a great Acharya, preceptor, just a thousand years ago. And of course, Vedan Deshika did not see him, unfortunate to meet him. Jayati Iti Raja Sukti. Yayati Mukundasya Paduka Yugali Taduvayadhana Strivedi Avandhyayanto Jayanti Bhuvisantaha. Good people should have victory, should have no failure. Therefore, Avandhyayantaha Jayanti Bhuvisantaha. Either in this world or in the next world, good people should always have victory. That's the prayer of. Vedanta Deshika, the last verse. So let me repeat again. Jayat, repeat. Jayati eti raja sukti. Uh, why do you say victory to the words of Ramanuja Acharya or victory to the divine sandals? When we say victory to the divine sandals, victory to the Lord, hail to the Lord. Prashagarad was said, Jayati Jayati Devo Devaki Nandano Yam. Jayati Jayati Vishnu, Jayatu Jayatu Vishnu, Vishni Vamsa Pradipaha, Jayatu Jayatu Megha Shamala Komalango, Jayatu Jayatu Vritsi Bharana Swam Kundaha. In each line, he has given two words, Jayatu, two times the same word. Jayatu Jayatu Devo. Then why should you praise uh, uh, a Lord uh, saying, You be victorious, you be victorious. So when I say you be victorious, so it is understood in the secondary meaning, I must be successful. I must be victorious. So jayati eti raja sukti, jayati mukundasya paduka yugali, tadubaya dhana strivedi, avandhyayanto. When people know the greatness of the divine science, and when people know the divine, the divine knowledge of Ramanuja Acharya, they will be good people. And they will always be successful. Avandhyayanto jayanti bhuvisantaha kavitar ki kasamhaya kalyana gunashalini shimate venkateshaya 
ವೇದಾಂತಗುರವೆ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀಕಾಂತ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೇದಾಂತ ದೇಶಿಕ ಆರ್ ದರ್ ಎನಿ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆನ್ ಪಾದುಕ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ನೋ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಎಂಫಟಿಕ್ ನೋ ಕ್ಯಾಟಿಕಾರಿಗಲ್ ನೋ anything else that so you can always uh, air your views as usual uh, planned by vyoma linguistics lab foundation that you can mail us uh, and also have the doubts cleared later okay uh, let us all meet tomorrow um and uh, since there are many participants today i am happy that uh, these participants should uh, come uh, regularly to get the blessings of the divine sandals of ranganath thanks to balaji shrinivas gopalan and shweta verma for understanding the meaning of the padaka sas i feel blessed to think about this padaka sas again and again and it has been the fourth time for this course and the n plus one time for parayan thanks to subhashree annapurni so let us meet tomorrow um, we hope to enjoy further ideas of vedanta deshika with a lot of humility radhe krishna